we found an amazing crack that shouldn't move this time. And we're gonna test rigid stem cams, straight out around the corner and straight down. Stay tuned for this episode of How Not to Highline. I'm Ryan Jinx and I'm in the middle of nowhere where we found a perfect crack, a perfect tree, and a couple people who will help us break these. We have uh, rigid stem cams, a couple different kinds, sizes, and whatnot, and we're gonna find out how strong they are, where they break, and what happens when you go around a corner, because I think that is super interesting since we are taught that you don't want to put any force against the rock on the stem. We did another video and we tested TCUs over an edge, and that was a super interesting video and they were a lot stronger than we thought, and the rock was moving. So we found a better rock this time. This is our setup here, so we found a spot for each one of our cams inside of this bomber rock. I don't think it's going to move, and we got all our sizes here. And what we have here is a span set going underneath this rock, so we would have put a pulley here and pull straight down on some of them. We're gonna pull straight out this way so we can break some of the stems and straight out this way so we can pull straight out or down through our redirect which is wrapped around a boulder here and we're going to have a five to one with as many multipliers as we need for two people pulling because i have to hold the cameras as safely as possible maybe i'll just risk my hand and go around the corner like this because i forgot all the tripods <laughs> Hi, I'm Bobby. And what are you doing, Bobby? Uh, I think we're gonna pull a friend out of these cracks. And we have another friend over here. Friend. And you're gonna help us? Pull some friends. What's your name? Brian. Cool, all right. Yeehaw. All right, let's do this. Now I'm gonna stand right next to it, holding this so you have slow motion. Safety first. I feel safe enough, do it. You're so close. Oh shit. I. I jumped. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Oh, the sling broke. Not, not that shocked. I'm impressed you guys put 13 on there without a gree gree in your multiplier system. So, not bad. What's it rated for? 14. Huh. It's a little uh, slinkied. Slinkied, yes. <laughs> Did you fall, Bobby? No. Nope. Did I'm... you fall, Brian? Oh, yeah, I snapped, sat in some snow. Oh, good. Wow. <laughs> All right. Let's hook it back up. <laughs> Hold on. Oh good, the screen's okay. <laughs> I thought it hit the rock. I was like, no! 16.74. Wow. And what happened? The bar started to bend, it looked like. Wow. Where's the stem? Oh, it's still attached. Oh, look, for your friends. It's a wild country friend. Wow, look at that. Cool, well, 16. That's not much more than the, than the sling. Yeah, really. Jeez Louise. It's mangled, dude. <laughs> yeah, what happens? It like starts to it, when it, fold in. Yeah, when that bar bends, it makes all the lobes uneven. Right. Our next test is a smaller purple wild country friend. And we're going to test the sling first, which, which looks like it's 14 kilonewtons strong. We put this rope around this rock this time, so it swings everything out. And I'm going to stand straight back because we're pulling straight down, which we got this smaller. This is girth hitched. I padded the screen, covered this up, and ah, we get just a little bit better each time. Let's pull.
Oh, you guys. It didn't break anything. Wow. So I tipped it out on purpose to see if just the tips were good enough. Did the rock break? 9.99. Well, we'll have to readjust it all and try again. Okay, so I couldn't get it in the crack below uh, to be cammed better than it was, so I over cammed it. But we are pulling out enough at this angle in order to be favorable-ish on that stem. We'll find out. We repatted that and I'm gonna stand back. What? It blew out the end of that rock there. Oh, this it's deformed the crossbar. Yeah, so now the lobes are not in line anymore. And you can see how that aluminum is all smashed. It's not even like a true curve anymore. The stem seems to be, yep, super straight enough. I don't know, you think we should, ah, it still works. One more time, eh? So I placed this in here in a way that it can't get pulled down. Uh, that's really a bad placement, but this is the only one I have above my head, which is how we're gonna be able to catch the dino. Holy rocks. We're just we're breaking the rock. I thought this rock was really good. Huh, maybe I should just try a different placement. Oh! Wow. I think we're done with this one. Wow, the sling really, really held up. Put in the comments below what you think about me standing next to all of this. I don't know. I don't think we're using this one again. Dang it. All right, we're gonna be a little bit more selective about where we do this. Hmm, is this a good time to beg for donations? <laughs> uh, seriously, yeah, the people who have donated actually have made everything possible here. Uh, those who donated these scams, those who donated uh, money, uh, my Patreons who support every episode, it really, really makes a difference. It all goes back into the channel. I promise I'll be more careful in the future. I also know I have other dinos coming that can handle this kind of crap. I also know there's a line scale three coming. I also don't want to be breaking these. So uh, yeah, working on drop tower currently and uh, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, spot us 20 bucks if you watch all the videos and read all the books, please. Let's get to the next test. Maybe. So what do you think, Brian? I think uh, I'm gonna hang out on my tree. <laughs> beautiful would you whip and on it, it? Um, possibly I think you could find a placement for that so this thing got over a kilonewton more <laughs> but nothing broke nothing broke strictly strictly <laughs> speaking <laughs> you put it on the free thread on uh, on mountain project sure <laughs> the free I'm thread sure yeah. there'll be some takers um what should we test now i say we try to yank these things sideways or down. That's the exact thing you're not supposed to do on rigid right. stems. But Makes maybe, us want to do it, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't matter. We shall see. Okay, so we are checking this dyno. It looks to be somewhat functional. Uh, super close enough to our really nice rose gold dyno that I recently got. This is my only other backup out here, so I don't want to just jump into using this. You're gonna use this until it no longer works, but seems to be doing just fine. And we are going to test a rigid stem cam going around a corner. So we redirected it around this boulder and are pulling still on that tree. Let's find out what happens. This is, I feel really safe right now. <laughs> so much dust. So, all right. So, <laughs> the sling broke. So the lobes seem to be somewhat okay. We're obviously gonna keep testing this. And you can see what happened to the rock, how much force that stem was putting on there. And the stem, from my angle, looks to be in good shape. I don't think this was levered enough. So if we put it back here more, and it was sticking out way more, I think that would have more of an effect on this. But this is in the strong part of that I-beam shape. Yes! Yes! 
We did it. And you got airborne. He slid like six feet in the snow. Our dino seems to be okay. Padding fell off. <laughs> Holy shit. 25. Super strong. I would totally put the rigid stem not where it's oh, supposed to be. Wow. Yep. Super bent. Yep. So all three of us were pulling to make this happen. Um, that center bar is bent a little but not nearly as much as when we were pulling straight on it. And then... Epic. Epic. What's the condition <laughs> of that soft shackle? Well, that actually What's the, can you move yeah, that part? Oh, uh, I guess I did get. Yeah, okay, so we got some abrasion on that, which that means that probably would have broke within 10 more kilonewtons, but hmm. man, that stem held up really well. And it didn't right. break. It might have broke where it was contacting the rock, and then it right. shot in from the rebound. What do you think, Bobby? No more like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all still out of breath. <laughs> So this one is barely placed in. I like the placement of the lobes, but as you can see, there's a lot of stem that's gonna be leveraged poorly. So we're gonna see how much less force that takes. Wow, rock doesn't seem to be too bad a shape. Sling broke. We're going to start pulling on this again. Yes! Wow. I'll be able to get that out. 13.22. That's not very much higher than the sling. But the sling broke first. <laughs> Um, the sling is also really old, so that might have a, an impact on that, but that's still a pretty high force. Okay, so this carabiner, is it's not completely smashed up against this corner. The sling is kind of rubbing against there. could break right there. Usually they break right here, and uh, the placement is eh, good enough for pulling it straight out. Oh no! Damn it! 16.23. Look what I got. I exhaled so my hand would get thinner. <laughs> I reached all the way in there. For reference, check this out. My hand only goes in <laughs> so far. <laughs> that thing was way back there. So what I'm putting in here, in case you're wondering, is a five millimeter ham steel soft shackle. If you want to see how we make soft shackles, uh, check out the video I put right here. We've got a couple of them. We're going to explore more about soft shackles, how badly you can tie them before you die, things like that. But uh, the slings that are on these are super good enough for the forces you are going to be putting on your cams. But if you did want to increase the strength of them, cam steel might be a nice thing to replace them with. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If people should be adding their own slings to their cams, that just sounds sketchy just saying that out loud. What the heck? A lobe broke? All right. Those lobes, that bar got bent slightly unevenly. One cam exploded. I don't know where the other part of that lobe is. Wow, I've never seen a lobe break. And the stem seems oh, still intact. No, I'm not gonna place it again. 